Steelers are up uh, Sunday. Sunday, and, and take a look. Some of the numbers, it, it kind of has you scratching your head. 28th in total yards um, allowed per game, um, allowing 20.2 points. That's tied for 11. 26th in points scored per game. That's 17.3. Um, somehow they're 6-3. and three. Difference is they're tied for first in turnover ratio, plus 10. Browns are tied for 24th at minus 4. And that is shooting up with a bullet by it because they were um, significantly worse than that before the last two games. Um, I, I get the turnover thing, but somehow the Steelers are 6-3, and three, and you watch them and you kind of go, how are they winning? Turnover thing is big, uh, and that'll, you know, there's always variance there. It does flip to a degree for every team across the, the NFL. I do still think, though, the yards thing is a bit of a misnomer. You know, this is a bend-don't-break defense. I know it's a cliche, but, you know, the, the, the way they play is, you know, they tighten things up in the red zone where a lot of those turnovers are happening. Um, and it's not that they want to seed yards prior to that, but, you know, they're not going to take risks and, and maybe try to jump routes and, and, and turn, do things between the 20s, but then that changes – when they get into scoring position. So, look, they are a fluky team for sure at 6-3. and three. It defies all odds in, in every way, shape, or form. They still have yet to have the yardage advantage in a single game um, and, and are 6-3 and three at this point. Maybe this weekend the tides turn once and for all. All right. Uh, lessons learned from the, from the first game that the Brown Steelers played. What do the Browns need to change, and, and what do you think they do to come away with a, a win that would – I, quite frankly, put them right in the middle of the AFC North. I think the tough part is the way you attack this defense, frankly, is through the air because their cornerback situation outside of rookie Joey Porter Jr., who's good but not perfect because he's a rookie, um, is bleak. I mean, Patrick Peterson is, is just old and has lost a step. Levi Wallace is, is really struggling as well at safety besides Minka Fitzpatrick, who I'm not sure even plays in this game. You know, DeMonte Kazee has not been particularly great. Some of the other players back there, Elijah Riley, some young pieces that are coming into the fold. And now Cole Holcomb, linebacker, probably their best backer, lost for the season, as is Quan Alexander. So really the, the defensive line is, is the problem. Um, but, you know, how much can Dorian Thompson-Robinson take advantage of that secondary? That will be the key. And then on the flip side, like I mentioned, this passing game for Pittsburgh has not had a good game, frankly, all season long. Their, their run game now has been incredible the last two or three weeks. Like, even against some solid opponents in Tennessee, a good run D, they're averaging like 10 yards a carry. J Jalen Warren is a revelation, frankly. Top five for us in missed tackles forced, explosive rushes, all this, these various categories. That's the key. Do not let them get in second and third and short. Make sure they're in second and eight, third and eight. And I think that's how you win this game. 